Well, I think they have the intention of, of paying back all their debts and all their creditors. And uh, it's my prayer that they'll be able to do that and that they'll succeed in that because uh, there's a lot of people who have been hurt, really seriously hurt by this. I heard of one woman who lost her home because of it. And uh, so it's a really tough time for a lot of people in our society. The son of the founder of the Crystal Cathedral Ministries resigned from the church two years ago and has his own opinions as to why it is having financial troubles. The challenges they face is it goes back many, many, many years. It has to do with the, the whole change in media. I think part of the problem was that they need to change to cable and get on, a, on cable networks because it's more cost efficient than having uh, 200 independent networks, which is what they did. They built a network of 200 independent stations at their peak. And since then, they've been cutting those off and then switching to cable. But in the process of that, it's very difficult to bring uh, all, of the, all the people who, who are almost ready to support the ministry, who've been watching for a long time, but aren't the very core. The very core follow them, but those who aren't quite there yet have a difficult time making that transition. Robert A. Schuler says he wanted to change the way the church gets its financing and is embarking on that project now. The history of Christian media has been always based upon asking for donations. The Christmas Cathedral started that way because they actually hired the actual individuals who started build, who funded Billy Graham crusades. They hired them and because Billy Graham was one of the first people to, to take his message on television, and they hired them to show them how to how to create a financial model so that they could broadcast on television. It worked, and they've been do, and it has been working for 70 years. Uh, the problem is the media has changed since 1970. There needs to be a new financial model. The model is commercially based just like any other for-profit network that you see on television. And I have absolutely no reason to believe that it will not be extremely successful. What we have, what we have witnessed to date is that, that companies like Walmart and, and Geico and other companies, uh, successful companies, wanted to support Christian, Christian media, they want to support family friendly media, they want to support these and they're looking for avenues to do this and we are providing that avenue for, for companies that really have an interest in, in families, in morals, and in Christian media. What I've personally done since, uh, since leaving the cathedral is started a media company called Comstar Media. We've started a fund to be able to acquire media properties and we have. We've acquired two television networks. These are 24-hour, seven-day-a-week television networks. We also have Siri, uh, Sirius Radio Station, uh, Channel 161, All Talk. And so those are the three properties we've acquired to date. The grandson of the founder also left the Crystal Cathedral to form his own church. When we left the Crystal Cathedral as a church, you know, we had already been talking about some of these things. The shift that had happened after my dad left, I felt like for me was was pretty dynamic. It was enough for us to say, I think that just for us as a community, this is a good season since there was so much change to, to start our own thing. His own thing is a small church that meets at the American Legion Hall in the city of Orange. Maybe what we're doing doesn't really fit what's going on at the cathedral. We started doing a lot of work with the homeless, with battered women, and a lot of people for some reason felt like the gathering was so small and the cathedral was so big. The cathedral I don't think was ever at its root a, a social outreach ministry. While the Crystal Cathedral struggles to pay its debts, the, the grandson keeps the family tradition of preaching going in a small way. We believe that the way Jesus led uh, had nothing to do with tests, had nothing to do with approvals. He preaches, and when he's done preaching, he leads worship. He's a, he's a very talented young man, and uh, I'm very proud of him, and I love listening to his sermons. He's a great preacher. We're looking at actually making him the very first preacher who, ever act, who comes and has a commercially sponsored, network-sponsored program. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.